Do you guys want to know how to push uh, your spike up to 500 trophies and plus learn how to learn uh, his mechanics, master him and learn which game modes are, uh, are best for him and that suits him as well plus some ultimate um, guide plus how to play him as well as counter him. Plus, we're gonna go over his best maps and do a tier list for him. So yeah, make sure to watch the whole video if you guys want to know a big, massive stuff about his uh, mechanics. So yeah, let's get right into into this video. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my video. Today guys, I'll be pushing my spike up to 500 trophies on my main account plus, plus give you guys the best tips and tricks, tips, guides, plus maps to uh, push um, uh, spike, a uh, guide on him, how to play him as well as how to counter him. Plus some extra information that you need to know uh, while you're pushing your spike uh, up to 500 trophies or even beyond that. Plus I'm going to give you guys some uh, maps, uh, every single map that he needs to be pushed at. So yeah, make sure to watch the whole video because I got a lot of information for you guys. As well, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video for more amazing content. And comment down below which brawler you want me to push up to 500 next. I've done ten bra uh, 9 brawlers with this brawler, it's going to be 10 brawlers so right now to make sure to hold watch the whole playlist because i've done a lot of brawlers and you guys need to learn so yeah make sure to comment down below which brawler you want me to push up to 500 next because i got a lot more to push and we're not even halfway done so yeah well, let's uh, continue with uh, this match. So, first off, uh, we're going to be doing the 500 trophy match. So, first off, as you know, we're going to be playing in Feast or Famine, as you guys know. But, uh, guys, I'll try to uh, mix it up within the next few balls or sometime like that. I'm, I'm not going to be probably pushing here. I'll try to mix up some stuff so for you guys. So, first off, um, Spike was so hard for me to push. Like, after 490 trophies, I hit a barrier, and I could not push him. But we found this game that was super easy and quickly. So, yeah, I just pushed him to 500 trophies over here. So, here I'm just camping and trying. Uh, so, I'm camping here in the bushes, as I said, and trying to get to 500 trophies as fast as I could possibly do because a lot of people die very, very quickly. And I could get a very uh, fast trophies just using this strategy. I'm gonna do a, a video for you guys on a, the bigger a guide for you guys how to do this trick and how to pull it off. So make sure to wait for that video. So here we got seven brawlers left. I'm currently camping right here. We got six brawlers now. The the Nita gets down right there. Five brawlers left now. We're in the se uh, section where uh, we're uh, we're gonna gain a plus one trophy. And guys, this video was recorded before the new update, so that's why some of these stuff are a bit different so here i just got third three teams left uh, three balls left and i was so thankful that we got this off five point trophies with spike and guys just noticed that i pushed this uh, spike on my main account not on my five point trophy brawler account so now let's get into the tips and tricks and guides on how to play and push spike now let's get right into it First off, let's do an overview about spike so guys the gameplay that you're watching currently uh we're going to be doing like uh uh, not like a maxed out spike gameplay, but uh, but the, all these stats that I show you guys in this video are going to be compared to a level 10 spike and his mechanics and his abilities. So yeah, first let's talk about his health. He has 3,360. He's one of the lowest brawls in, uh, in Brawl Stars. If if Tick uh, had had uh, like 3,360, uh, Spike uh, could have been like one of the lowest health brawls in games, but currently Tick has... Uh, um, that uh, that title guys also guys he, he does uh, 672 damage per spike that he is he his um that his shot actually is explodes into six projectiles every spike that hits he do, deals 672 okay and his uh, super equals to 560 damage per second so every second uh, uh, got, uh, like your the opponent is in that and the the spike ball thing is going to deal for him 560 uh, uh, damage or damage per second if you guys want to call that star power is when spike throws his super uh, and he is in his inside of it it can heal uh, he can be healed for 500 hp every time so 500 hp gain per second so yeah also um now let's talk about some extra information that you guys need to know about him that is like it's a, a small information but maybe you should uh, should keep uh, it back in their mind so first 
himself he's a legendary brawler which makes him very hard to get he is one uh, he's uh, the hardest brawler to get with the other two legendary brawls crow and leon but also pe a lot of people want me to do a crow and fight and um Leon five fun trophy brawl series, which I'm gonna do it for you guys very soon. Next up, he's slow. He's what? Well, he's the slowest brawler, uh, actually, and speed in terms of speed, guys. But actually, guys, there's a lot of brawlers who have slow speed, but he is one of the slowest brawlers in Brawl Stars because there are around 13 brawlers who have the slowest, uh, like the equal amount of, uh, of uh, speed and this stuff. He has uh, the lowest one in game. Next up, he has lowest health except uh, uh, Tick. He has the lowest health if we didn't include Tick. He has one of the lowest health in game, guys. So this is some uh, small information that you need to about need to know about uh, uh, like Spike just before like playing him. If you have them at zero trophies, you gotta know this uh, this information before you jump into other stuff with him. Now let's talk about more details and and this stuff you need to, uh, to know about him. Ne next up, you should play him in defensive role as a defensive role brawler. You shouldn't be aggressive. Uh, never play him aggressive because of his low health as well as his um lo uh, low speed. So yeah, that lacks for him. So you should always play him as a defensive brawler next up he's a support brawler in gym grab and brawl ball and yeah the defensive role gets to him in brawl ball and heist and the support brawler gets to him in show and gym grab i mean and in um brawl ball, uh, brawl ball guys and his weakness are his range. He's not. He doesn't have the longest range in Brawl Star, so he doesn't have the shortest. He has a mid-range brawler, which we're gonna talk about his weaknesses very soon. His health, as we talked about, and his speed. So yeah, you got you guys gotta turn out. You have to learn more. Of, uh, you have like memorize that he has the lowest uh, speed. And and health and you should know more uh, the range is his ranges his weaknesses so yeah you should guys have it I think till I talked about till now you should memorize it until we get into the other stuff so now let's talk about his uh, damage he he shoots out six projectiles uh, from F one attack so if you use one ammo it's gonna be sh uh, shooting out six projectiles doing 672 per spike next up he's a support brawler as we talked about in gem grab where he's not gonna be always playing in lane never going to be playing the mid uh, or the gym career role um now, this is an important one. You need to learn slash master how to avoid his projectiles if you want to be better. So, uh, be better with uh, how to play him. This is also better if you want to counter him. You need to master and learn how to avoid his six projectiles. And yeah, uh, if you determine his pattern, you're going to be able to kill him very easily and you're not going to be killed that easily. Uh, now, let's talk about some other in small information that these are that are most important for you guys that you need to memorize. I, yeah, guys, I wrote all the information on the paper and giving guys all the information because before the video, I've done a lot of research for you guys and I've been playing with him for a very long time. First off, it's better to manually aim uh, aim with um, Spike, but if you're within two tiles or less than that, you're good to be, uh, you're good to R aim because you're going to do a lot of damage and not going to waste that much time. Next off, best use of Spike super is to chop an opponent or to navigate or like to never make him go out to another lane. So yeah, there are three stuff that you need to know. As I said, trap an opponent, heal yourself with your super if you have the star power. And third off, to block the enemy from going to another side are the three best uses for him. Next up is never be aggressive with the spy because of his lack of health. Uh, because he doesn't have that much health, you're going to be... Uh, like uh, having issues if you go aggressive with him next up he gets uh, countered by the longer range brawlers and uh, it always try to outrange the tank brawlers because that's going to be one key for for you to counter the, bra the brawlers the tanky brawlers plus make sure to always um, dodge the longer range brawlers because they can two or three shot him and he gets killed very easily by them now Let's talk about how to counter Spike. First off, 
if you uh, if you're playing a longer range ball, always try to outrange him. This is the opposite of what I just talked about. And if you're a tank, you could get close to Spike if you learn the pattern of him and dodge him very easily. And yeah, if your lack of health, always play uh, play him in the wide open maps and maps with less walls, so you could be dodging him very. You could dodge him, and you could learn how to learn his patterns very easily because if it's a close up mouse he could just spam you guys with his shots and you could get killed very easily so yeah that's some uh, information that you need to know about him next up here's some other information as i guys said try to clump people together and then take them out this is just an inf important information that you need to know that's just uh, basically something that is known for you guys and you need to learn and master that thing next up let's talk about the game modes here's we're gonna get to the tier list plus the best mouse for him next up gem grab uh, play him in lane as a support brawler He's the best in that thing. In highest, play him as a defense brawler. Never go aggressive because Spike doesn't deal that much damage, and you're not gonna be the very, you're not gonna do a very excellent with him. But brawl ball always try to be uh, to get the field control on the, or like be defensive with him. So yeah, you're not gonna lose control with him. He's a control type of brawler as well as a field control type of brawler. Next up, let's talk about the tier list. In gem grab, he's an A tier brawler. He was he used to be S tier brawler until the gene and the call destroyed him. But he's still an A tier brawler, and he's a very strong brawler there. In uh, solo showdown, he's an S an A tier brawler. Sorry, in duo showdown, he's a B tier brawler. In heist, he's a C, a C tier brawler and Siege is an A tier brawler and uh, overall he's an uh, A tier brawler and in Brawl Ball he's an S tier brawler as I said in Bounty he's a C tier brawler. So yeah, this is all of the information you need about Spike. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in tomorrow's video.